All right, we got Mike. The Law Russell. Okay. He's 15, two and one. Versus Sean. Savage. Nice. Jordan, he is 13 and four. Russell, 27% of his wins by KO, 53% by submission. Jordan, 69% by KO and 23% by submission. Yes. What do you see going on here? All right, it, it, here's the thing. What's that? Um, I know that um, Sean Jordan almost forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's new to the UFC. He had a good showing. In he's first a killer. Fight. Go. He looks he's like called shit the savage. against Chick Congo. It was a pretty boring fight. He did was... pay back Congo with an elbow to the ball, so that's true. Tit uh, for tat. Here's what I here's what people forget. What? Russell is one of those guys who's under the radar a lot. He doesn't get a lot of respect because of his physique, because of like his his easygoing demeanor, I would say. Mm -hmm. He he's not loud, he's not boisterous. Seems like a Awesome guy, he's super nice. Yes, very cool, punch in, punch out kind of guy. Like he's gonna get the job done. People forget this guy was on like a was it 11, 12, 15 fight win streak or something ridiculous. Might as well be a hunter for Be all I know. <laughs> Before he lost to Verdum in Brazil. No. Yeah, who, who's <laughs> I said who the fuck is gonna take a fight Come against on. Verdum in Brazil? That is like a death sentence. Yes, but you know who stepped up? Mike Russell. Yes, he did. And Kudos to him. It was not his best showing. I felt I felt like, and I'm sure he felt like. It was probably the water. I'll make the excuses. It was either the water, the food. It could have been kidneys, maybe personal problems. The 18-hour air, fl air, fl air flights or I'm whatever. I'm guessing there was jet lag yeah. and probably a delayed flight. All that so, good stuff. The, the point being is that here's a guy who's incredibly seasoned. He's fought some of the toughest guys in the heavyweight Would division. Would you say he's a grizzled veteran? Absolutely. Like, you never eat steak and there's that grizzle. The fat. The gristle, I cut that off and throw it Gristle on the I side. I don't eat that. That's my gristle. He's you like that? Gristle. He's gristle. Always hanging around. Um, so, I mean, I don't see any way that he loses this, especially in his hometown. You know, he's at home. He's got the comforts of home. He's got he's he's it's in the same time he zone. He's, he's, he's got all his he's friends, family, police. He's got the MMA nuts. Got damn. We are right. not biased by any means. <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, but, not at all. But, uh, <laughs> I can almost. I just call don't. This. I don't. I don't see Sean Jordan winning this. I think this is going to go the way of the John Madsen fight, where Russell just puts it on him and just just uses a lot of good solid striking, closes the gap, gets in the clinch, grinds it out, grinds it out, and he's going to end up finishing this around middle of round two, be a ground, ground and pound stoppage. He may even come in for a rear naked choke when Jordan says he decides he's had enough and bellies up over yeah, and gives up his goes back. in and get his first Please submission victory in a while. Give it to me. Give it to yeah. me. Yeah. So I, I think this is going to be not on TV, right? It's probably one of the first fights on FX. Okay. You can't you can't dismiss the heavyweight fights. Could be exciting. Hence why we're covering it. Yes. I no think reason that good. it's a Caprito train fighter. War Mike Russo. Hey, we are not it. the traditional MMA media coverage. We are very fucking biased sometimes, <laughs> and I don't care. That's right. <laughs> so what say you, sir? Well, here I'll counterpoint to your points. And okay. I'll say. The one, the one negative on Mike Russo is that he doesn't follow a fucking game plan at all. No. At all. No. That's the one concern I have about this fight. Not, not all the time. Because, hey, you should go out there and take this fight to the ground. What does he do? He stands and trades. Yeah. Uh, Todd Duffy. Well, you know, Comprito said that in the, between the second and third round. He, he was, like, yelling at Mike, and it seemed like Mike didn't want, want to hear anything. And, and <laughs> I remember him telling me this. He's like, oh... Mike's like, but my, my arm, he's like, fuck your fucking arm. Go out there and hit him with it. Just go. It's like, what are you doing? Put it on him. And then, you know, I don't know. I, I think, you know, it's easy for us to it, say. Well, it's say. like, it's hard because when you get in there and you get punched in the face, fucking game plans go out, the, out window the window and you're fighting on fucking heart and yeah. balls, man. Yeah. So I think, my, you know, Verdum didn't knock out Russo. He just stunned him a bit and he looked a little dazed and disoriented. I don't think Jordan he, he has the power. He just knocked him into a different time zone. Yes. That was all. Jordan has does not have the power or the wrestling or the ground game to finish this fight. Does he Russell, have the savagery all day? Maybe. Okay. He's younger, isn't he? How old is he? He is twenty-eight. Yeah. So he's got and like some years on. Russo is thirty-six. Yeah. So, and you know, Mike, I think the one thing that he's guilty of is he he, he doesn't work uh, his work schedule around his training. So sometimes I think he overtrains and overworks, and he gets a little worn down. So. Hopefully for this camp, it sounds like they've kind of got that figured out. Okay. So he'll be nice and fresh. Good. So, you know, he should have a good showing. But I had a good point in there, and it came and went. Lost it. <clears throat> but here's the other weird thing. 
Did you know this? Russo has not submitted someone in four years. Right. That's what I'm saying. Submission Fucking would be four great. years. Weird. And, he, and here, here's a guy who, like, if you go back through all his submissions, like, he has, like, almost run the gamut and submitted everybody in every different kind of fashion. Yep. I think I'm looking for a knee bar still, Mike. Knee Come bar. on. It seems, <laughs> it seems to be the flavor, man. Everyone's going for those knee bars nowadays. I know. It's like the thing to do. That was like it's like the front kick to the face, right? Yeah. It's the hot Joe Lozon. You had just oh on the Showtime card. You had freaking uh, Josh Barnett trying to pull that shit. It it just seems like the hot thing to do. Damn right. Uh, uh, what's his face, Mister Steroids, uh, who just recently Shane got, Garwin? who just got busted. No. Oh, sorry. Alex <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. over him. Uh, Carbon was allegedly okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, 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 Cyborg. No, nope. just just like just yesterday happened. Uh, Rusamar Pahares. That's it. Yep. Fucking guy. Fucking guy. Yep. Anyways. All right. I'm taking Russell by sub second or third round. I'm with you. Sub or TKO. Okay. It's going it's gonna be brutal. Magic eight ball. I hope there will be you can't beat Russell teeth in flying in this into the crowd. Uh, my reply is no. Oh, Magic Eight Ball is taking Sean Jordan. Fuck you, Magic Eight Ball. Good luck with that. You're disowned. <laughs> we'll disavow any knowledge of you yes. and or your friends. 